Niall listening in Raleigh to Talk Radio 850. Hey, Niall, you're on Free Talk Live. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. We're talking about the young man who's facing prison time yeah. over a photo that he posted to Facebook of him essentially engaging in a sexual, simulated sexual act uh, with his clothes on in front of a Jesus statue and wondering what folks think about that. Go ahead. Well, it, it goes to the what is freedom of expression, what is freedom of speech. Are you allowed to stick your face in somebody else's and loudly say a, a racial or es- ethnic epithet right in their face? You know, maybe give them a little spray while you're at it. You know, that's uh, that's speech. And no, expression. I would say that that would be inappropriate because then you'd be and you would be cutting into that person's personal space and spitting on them. Of oh, course, would be an the, assault. Where's the personal? Where's the personal space mentioned in the uh, constitutional decisions legalizing outrages? That's basically what it is. Is like it's an outrage to uh, common civilized. Uh, peace, you know, it's like a disturbance of the peace. If you want to do something to get people really mad and upset, you know, that, that, uh, that's fine. You realize that you it should, is legal to call people protected. racial epithets loudly. Like, you realize that that's, that's actually legal? Well, he was talking about getting no, in someone's no, face. You, you, like, you can't get in someone's no. face and spit on them, but you can scream at people and say nasty, no. nasty things. No, 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 no. That, you're wrong. That is not legal. If you are... If you are that is an assault. That's assault. Uh, he, okay, just to clarify, Absolutely. I think you guys are miscommunicating. Uh, what <laughs> Niall said originally was that it was getting up in someone's face, and that would be assault by spitting on them. But, Johnson, what you were well, saying is if the person was... Spitting, Johnson, but just spraying and loud, being really loud at them, you know? Like, in other well, words, but wait like, a minute. Hold on. Are you saying... Wait, just joking. to clarify, Niall, because what Johnson was saying was that if you were a few feet away from the person and shouting, that that would be completely legal. Don't you agree with that? No, I don't think so. I think yeah, if, say, you go up to go, if you go up to, uh, say, go to like New York City and go into Harlem or they go to Ferguson and yell racial epithets at uh, people on the street, you know, is that legal? I don't yeah, think well, so. I think, yes, it is. I think you, you have, might get it, your butt kicked. Uh, I, think illegal. Illegal. Uh, I think you have it illegal is, and highly unwise confused. People have been arrested for disturbing the peace for much less. Well, disturbing the peace and is I really a crappy... Is, Distur- disturbing the piece is really a crappy catch-all charge. It is highly yeah. unwise to yell racial epithets, especially at a racially disadvantaged individual, because there's you know all this baggage there. Um, I don't know what legal and illegal is in this circumstance, but I don't think that it. I mean, it seems like freedom of speech would cover that. Yeah, I'm no attorney, but this is pretty clear free speech. And for instance, you know, look at uh, the, the classic example of the KKK march in was it Skokie, Illinois, many years ago. Uh, that was obviously completely legal, though quite offensive. And, of course, we know that the bedrock principle of the First Amendment, the idea is that it's the offensive speech that needs to be protected. You don't have a right not to be offended. And that's why I'm saying that the young man doesn't owe anybody for what he did to the statue. He didn't damage it. All he did was, you know, some people's feelings got hurt. Well, it doesn't matter if his intentions were to hurt someone's feelings. You control how you feel. You control how you react to things. And putting the onus of, uh, of control on someone else saying that, well, someone else did something, so I reacted this way, and so therefore it's their fault how I reacted, that's nonsense. Yeah, well, that's, that's basically, you're, you know, lawyer, you're kind of doing a, a legalese interpretation of it. I'm, what I'm saying is, would he do that, like, would he get in a sexual position with a Quran, you know? And Maybe he would. On Facebook with this is just ID? a teenager. He's a know. teenager. Why would he care but if just it was Just because he's doing that to a statue well, doesn't make him many, uh, Islamic. Like, <laughs> Like the the the, the piss Jesus, you know, or piss Christ that they did in in New York. That uh, think that artist. That, it, it also, just, not illegal. I mean, well, offensive, yeah. but not so illegal. It, 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 it used to be illegal. You remember when at the beginning of the United States, if you said anything insulting or or did anything really gross to somebody, they would call you out for a duel and kill you. You know. Well, I, mean, well, that's not, I support you're, dueling. You're, you're I support the right. 
I support the right of free people to decide if they want to engage in a duel or not. Um, I, I, I've come down on the other side of the issue with the uh, the Piss Christ uh, piece of art, because as far as I know, he owned everything that was in that. Whereas on this well, circumstance... Wait, wasn't the, wasn't the, I hate saying the, that word on, on the air. Wasn't the, uh, the Piss Christ, Christ thing? Yeah. Uh, it's it's the not name illegal. Of, it's the name of a piece it's of art. It's called. the name of yeah, the 1987 called. photograph by American artist Andre Serrano. I thought that uh, the, conver- uh, the, the controversy around that was that there was some sort of government art money that went in there that. was and i think that's despicable but that's not really the issue that most people have most people are like yeah, well, he shouldn't be able to say that yeah well you're 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 in a position where what you're doing is you're going with constitutional decisions that were made often at the behest of some organization like the Amer- american civil liberties union or other fine communist organizations what are you talking this, about this, oh. the what, aclu uh, this is ridiculous enraged. Just wants to enrage now, people. It's ridiculous oh, to call the ACLU, ACLU the, communists, yeah. sir. It's ridiculous. I, I, wonder if they, I wonder if people were calling them when they were defending Rush Limbaugh, you know. Or, the ACLU, you yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah. When they were, yeah. yeah. The oh, ACLU, look, the ACLU <laughs> is an organization that has certain constitutional principles that they work very hard to uphold. And sometimes that crosses some people's uh, offense. They don't like cer- certain uh, individuals or groups that the ACLU will come to defend. It's like the ACLU would be the kind of group who would defend the KKK marching in Skokie, Illinois. It doesn't mean they agree with the content of the march. It doesn't mean that if they're defending communists that they agree with communists. I've had the ACLU defend me in court. And they did a fine job. They were defending me on a freedom of speech issue, or in this case, a freedom of the press issue, where I was arrested at a a Palmer, Massachusetts town hall building for holding a video camera. And the ACLU paid for basically the attorney to... uh, you know, to represent me in that case. And that, that had nothing to do with being a communist or, you know, who who in the ACLU might be a communist. It's just ridiculous hate uh, that is thrown at that organization. Yeah. Civil liberties is a pretty good thing, and they're usually on the right side of those issues um, from what I've seen. Look, I, I'm as much of a social conservative as the next guy in my own life, but I don't think I, – I think that uh, people's – uh, human rights are more important. And in, in this circumstance, Johnson, you, you did say you had a question for me. You're he does put have me on a question, but it's here. a long question, so we're going to yeah. hold back on that here in a moment. We'll get to the question. Your calls come first. Johnson can wait. 855 well, 453. Before we move on, real quick, now this isn't a question. I just want to clarify that. I think, it, and I think it needs to be clarified that uh, assault. It actually involves a threat of bodily harm. Well, then maybe it was battery. I don't know what it would be, but spitting on somebody is definitely a personal yeah, uh, property rights battery. violation. There's more coming up here. It's Free Talk Live. Free Talk Live, seven nights a week from 7 to 10 Eastern, live on the Liberty Radio Network at lrn.fm. 